Hi, so we're back in Fusion 360, and we're going to take a look at the web um, 3D feature. So uh, let's go ahead and create a sketch. Uh, and this time we're going to um, create kind of an organic uh, shape um, because uh, to best kind of demonstrate this. So, so we're going to go ahead and create a line. And we're going to dimension that line to uh, 12 inches. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, just add a spline to create kind of an organic shape here. So, okay. So we have a two D um, a two D organic shape, and we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. And now we're going to go ahead and revolve it. So we're going to click revolve, and then on axis we're going to click axis. Um, so the profile was already selected because it was the only closed 2D shape. Then axis, we selected the middle uh, line there, and we're going to go ahead and click OK. So we, now we have this kind of 2D organic shape here. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and use the shell command. So we're going to go to modify, click shell. We're going to select the face that, that, we want, that we want to remove. In this case, this face. And then we're going to go to point, um, uh, 0.25. So it's a quarter inch. Okay, and then we have this, so we have this shape that is now a shell. All right, so in this case, uh, we might have a situation where this is going to go on top of something, and clearly the 0.25 is not going to be thick enough for it to support itself. So we want some internal uh, supports uh, on this shape. So let's go ahead and we're going to create an offset plane. And we're just going to do a plane. That is, uh, that is directly on top of the shape here. So actually there's no offset. So, so we go ahead and, and create it. And now we have a sketch that's right on top of the object. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do here is that we're going to, uh, whoops. We're gonna put, go ahead and put a sketch onto that plane. Now we're in sketch mode. And now we're gonna create a system of support. So basically we don't have to intersect these lines up here. Web is pretty automatic. So, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and create some lines that are going to be support lines uh, in here. Now, it would be best to dimension these. Um, I'm not going to dimension them uh, for, for brevity's sake, uh, but, but it would be best to dimension these, obviously. You know, you just wouldn't want to put them in here. Um, so, so let's go ahead and just add in some supports. Okay, and sketch. All right, so now we have the kind of this grid of supports. Now, it doesn't have to be a grid like this. It can just be a single line. It can be a spline. It can be many different things. Uh, but this grid seems to be most realistic for the situation. So, um, so we're going to go ahead down and click Create, and then we'll click Web. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start selecting these, uh, these supports here. We're going to go ahead and select all of them in turn just by clicking one by one. Uh, and we want these supports to also be um, point, uh, we're going to make them thinner, so 0.125. Uh, and then notice that we don't get a, oh, there we go. We got a great preview. So sometimes it's, it's flipped in direction, in which case uh, it, it will show you something that looks like this. And you just need to go ahead and flip it. There we go. Go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead. So there we have our supports. They kind of map into the bottom, even though it's a curve, and it's a very, very useful uh, feature. Uh, let's go ahead and create a component from our body. Right-click, create components from body. Right-click on component, physical material. And let's say in this case, we're gonna be printing it. Uh, And let's just say plastic opaque black. Drag and drop. Okay, so that is the web command uh, in Fusion 360. Best of luck.